just talking about a murder, you are I'm talking about the brutal beating of this defendant's girlfriend. Uh, she suffered, I would note, five cracked ribs, I believe, a lacerated liver, um, cracked sternum, her skull was fractured, and she had a subdural hematoma, the likes I've never seen before. Your Honor, I would note the facts of this case are such that after the defendant beat her to death, he left her in the motel room, and then he went and sought medical treatment for himself. He went to the hospital, leaving her there in the motel room. He went. However, before he did that, he went to a liquor store and got a couple drinks. He goes to the hospital, checks in, spends the night, goes back to the motel room the next day and calls his father and says, oh, she won't wake up. Dad comes down and dad is the one who finally calls the police and summons somebody for help. Your Honor, I would submit to the court that this defendant is the reason we have detention. He is the poster boy for somebody who should be detained and not released. He is a danger to society. He has a history of domestic violence. This case involved domestic violence. And his actions in this matter were horrific. 